Rhino Grasshopper tutorial for the architecture design series. I'm going to model the evolution tower and as you can see here this is really parametric because I can just change the dimension, uh, change this width and height and the tower will just change. The next thing is that I can uh, change the degree of rotation as you can see here. This is the rotation. The next one is the number of these panels and the frame. So you can see how I can control that. And I'm going to teach you uh, how to model this in Rhino Grasshopper. <laughs> Okay, to start from scratch, uh, we're going to go to a new document and start our file. So let's just delete this and I'm going to go to the solid section and draw this box. So we can just make a box here and we are on shaded mode. Okay, so uh, by inserting this into Grasshopper, we're going to go to the params menu and bring this as a BREP. So let's just do this and put the bifocals plug in. And I'm going to set this to the spirit. Okay, before we start working with Grasshopper, I will put a playlist here with two videos which will get you started. And if you also want a more advanced tutorials, you can also go to our course. <laughs> okay, so let's just get started. Uh, if we want to make the evolution tower, for the architecture design, we have to twist this. Basically, you can do this in Rhino by typing twist, and you can see that this is really easy. If I want to twist something in Rhino, the best method to work in Grasshopper is to learn the steps you have to take in Rhino. So if I just type twist, I have to give this a first point for the start of the axis and the control key to coming up in the Z direction and another one for the end of the axis and I can type maybe 180 degrees. So you can see that this is going to twist uh, the box. So we are going to do this exactly in Grasshopper. First thing is because I have made this in Rhino, I want to bring this a little bit in the X direction so I can work on it a little bit further. So let's just do this and move MV, move this in the X direction give this a number maybe okay, and move this a little bit in the X direction so I can see what happens when I change my base box. So the next step is to twist this. So if I just type twist and you have to have the Rhino 6 version if you want to do that. Uh, you can also go to the transform menu and find this twist thing here. Okay. The first one is the geometry we want to twist so we can give this here. The next one is the axis, exactly the same as Rhino, and you can see that we have to give this a line. So what I want to do is to make a line from here to here, and basically put this as an axis, because we want to twist this uh, completely. So what I want to do is to go to Surface, Deconstruct, BREP, and make this into faces. And as you can see, we have six faces, and we want this one and this one so we can find the center and then connect it as a line so whenever i change the box we will always have the complete axis here so let's just do this we have to type item and use the list item tool to pick something so we want a face if we want an edge you can see that's going to pick the edge and if I want a vertex, you can see that I can just pick this. Okay, we want a face, and you can see this is the first face. It's the 0, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, and perhaps it's 4. So I'm going to put a 4 to the index, and that's right. And again, another one, Control c Control v And so it's 4, and let's just give this a 5. That's right. So we want to find the center. Let's just type area and give this to the surfaces. And now we have the centroid. So now we can go to the curves and put a line between them. So let's just do this. 
and you can see whatever box we make we always have a complete axis okay so we can give this as the axis and turn off this move thing so we just turn off everything but have this twist okay the next thing is angle we have talked about this we have to right click and make it degrees so if i want i can type from zero to maybe 360 degrees with two decimals and i can twist this okay that's easy <laughs> The next step is to, uh, for the project, if I make this in Rhino, we need two surfaces, which is this one maybe, and this one, I'm going to show you here, this one and this one, and we want to put windows on that. So let's just do this. If we want to make this happen in Rhino, we just explode this, and then select them with the Shift key. So we have to do that in Grasshopper also. So let's just go to Surface, Deconstruct, and now we need an item, list item for a face. Again, you can see that this is the first one. That's fine. If we zoom in and put the plus in, you can have the next one, and the third, and the last one. So these are the uh, facade surfaces we can also have the bottom and the top so let's just go to the params menu and put these on surfaces so these are the top and bottom if we want to just bake them in a layer the next one is the this surface and the zero and the plus two which are okay let's just bake this so you can see it these two surfaces and then we have these two surfaces left again you can see that so we can turn this off completely and we have divided this into three surfaces okay so if we want to make the uh, this surface into panels we can simply go to a launch box I'm going to put this uh, plugin in our website so you can also uh, find this example if you want on pmh3d.com backslash two so you can go to this website or to this link and you will be redirected to this page which, which you can download the launchbox plugin and the example file so we have to use this quad panels now because we want to divide this surface into quad panels the u division is basically this so i'm going to give it a one because i want a complete division here and then we can just say 25 okay you can see that we can divide this into panels And if we want to make this panel uh, as a window, exactly like the project, we can simply just offset the border. So what I want to do is to connect a curve to this. You can see that this has two groups, and this is basically the first surface and the second surface. Each of them has been divided into 25 panels, and we have to flatten this. So if you don't know what flatten is, you can simply watch this video tutorial up here, which I will uh, show you how to use flatten graphs and these things. So I'm going to flatten this and make this 50 uh, polyline curves, which is the border. So if I bake that, you can see that we have those panels in Rhino. So what we want to use is to use the offset on surface tool. So let's just do the offset on surface. We want to offset this curve on the surface, which is basically these panels. So we can just give this to this surface. And you can see that we have offset this basically on the default for one. So let's just give this 125. And if this offsets outwards, you have to go to the distance and put the expression into minus 
x. So you can just make this negative and it goes inwards. Okay, so now we want the window and the border. So what we want to do is to go to intersection, physical, and choose the surface split. Or you can just type surface split. And what we want to split is the surface is this panels. Okay. Uh, the most important thing is that when you offset something, Grasshopper by default makes groups of them. So here we have a problem. If you want to uh, split that surface with all of those curves, this is going to be in groups. So this is in groups. You can see that. But this one, and you can see this by, let me just put a curve in here so you can see that. So this is in groups. But this one is not in groups. So if you connect this one to the curve split, what will happen is it's going to just make split all over the place. It's going to split this curve with this surface, this curve with that surface, and it's going, we, have, uh, we are going to have problems. So again, if you don't know, I have put a video on the card section, which we talked about flatten and graft. So now I'm going to graft this surface. So the input is going to be in groups. You can also do that by double clicking on this connection and then uh, making this graft if you want okay let's just put this into graft if you want this one to be flattened but the input is going to be graft or you can simply just connect a curve to this we have this curve again i'm going to put another curve okay we had the surface excuse me let's just go to the surface and then make this graph so you can see that those dots are appearing and we have both of them into groups so you can see that it's going to split each of those panels into two different sections which is the border and the window so now we have to pick the window and the border and that's the end of the tutorial so i'm going to again type for item and this is the first one which is the border and this one is the window so i'm going to bake this one into layer one and bake this one into layer two and bake this top and bottom in layer three and bake this surface into layer four and get this ready for our render so you can see that this is how you can make the building and this is really easy let's just bring this here and if i want to change this we can simply just change the box and it's going to update the results so and we can also just change with this control shift and scale this a little bit maybe make this a tapered something like this or at the bottom so you can see how easy it is to use uh, the grasshopper to produce the results and thank you for watching subscribe to our channel like this video and share our video with your friends